Hello friends, welcome to this channel and we are continuing with our discussion on the configuration of Siemens decentralized bus bar production schemes. In last session we have discussed about the configuration of the binary input and binary output for uh, one and a half breaker schemes in case uh, of the bay units of Siemens decentralized bus bar production schemes. In this session, we will discuss about some of the important settings of the units which we have to do in a case of uh, uh, under the central units. So, I am again continuing with the same project bus bar English demo and now since we have to implement the settings related to the LBB production, so we have to go to the central unit. So, just double click and open the central unit through offline mode and once it is opened, so go to this uh, settings and inside the settings go to this bay units. So the settings of all the bay units will be exactly the same and uh, I am going to discuss about the configuration of any one bay units and uh, the similar settings will be for other bay units also. So now without wasting any time let us uh, start with today's topic. So first of all go to this bay unit 1 just double click and this will open first I will just make it full screen and now go to bay units bay unit one and now in case of bay unit the first important setting is your in service so the bay units must be in service only if you put any bay unit out of service then the current uh, of this bay units will not be calculated for your differential and uh, in the differential zones and it will cause the maloperations of your bus bar. So you have to put all the uh, units into the service until unless you are doing some work and you want to keep your bay out of service till the duration of work. So the settings you have to go to the breaker failure and in this session I am going to discuss only about the breaker failure protection settings. We will discuss about the end fault protection first and then we will discuss about the settings of end fault stays. So in this session we will discuss only about the breaker failure protection. So the first important setting is your binary input mode or supervision. So uh, the by default I have selected the settings as initiation with supervision but here you are you will be having four different settings. I am going to discuss about each settings that is initiation with supervision, initiation without supervision, initiation and release with supervision and initiation and release without supervision. What is the meaning of initiation with supervision? The meaning of uh, initiation with supervision means uh, whenever there is any uh, LBB or breaker failure start signal from main protections or uh, main feeder protections or ICT or ether protection to your uh, bay units. Then this initiation will be supervised for some particular duration and only within those time if there is a current which is above the set threshold then it will consider that initiation and it is going to give your LBB uh, trip. If uh, you set it as initiation without supervision, then in that case, uh, whenever the relay receives any initiation, it will uh, save this initiation uh, till eternity and when uh, this your current, whenever the current is uh, more than this uh, setting, uh, more than the threshold, it is going to execute the LBB uh, trip. The next is initiation and release with supervision and initiation and release without supervision. So what is the meaning of initiation and release with supervision and without supervision? Again the meaning of with and without supervision is exactly the same. The difference is initiation and release. So in the first case it is initiation only. So suppose there is a fault in R phase and the main uh, feeder protection has uh, given the R phase initiation then the uh, protection uh, or the L LBB protection or the bay unit uh, simply over here, it is uh, going to start its LBB uh, protection function with this initiation and with after the lapse of trip repeat time and after the lapse of your final trip time, it is going to execute its uh, command for trip repeat, for the uh, breaker failure inter-trip, for the breaker failure uh, trip, for the bus selection, uh, 
uh, bus zone selection so everything it is going to do only on the basis of initiation now if you are using any additional signal suppose uh, for a gis uh, substation or suppose for any other substation in which you want uh, initiation at the same time you want to release the lvb protection for instance only after uh, suppose of certain binary input suppose uh, in case of GIS substation if there is a uh, uh, lower gas pressure uh, or for any input suppose input 1 and you want if the initiation is there and only when uh, you are having an uh, having a release signal like uh, input uh, any input like uh, CB operation lock or, or uh, suppose CB SF6 low or trip coil faulty then only you want your LVB uh, protection functions to operate then, then it is called initiation and release so on the basis of these two with and without supervision there can be four different combination initiation with and without supervision and similarly initiation and release with or without supervision uh, by default, I am using the initiation with supervision. So, in this case, the initiation will be supervised for the certain time duration. And that time duration is, uh, if you set here, that time duration for initiation with supervision is, in this case, it is 0 0.06 or 60 millisecond. If I set this as initiation without supervision, in that case, the initiation signal uh, it is not like, uh, like that this uh, initiation signal will be so uh, uh, is uh, not going to supervise for a uh, lifetime but uh, if you set this as initiation without supervision then that initiation uh, now the supervision of this initiation is not not governed by this uh, 60 millisecond but it is uh, default settings which is available in the relay manual which is 15 seconds so if you are not going to select this supervision time then all the initiation will be supervised by default up to 15 seconds so i am going to select this initiation with supervision so whenever an initiation uh, is received by the day unit it will supervise that up to 60 milliseconds and if within that 60 milliseconds it receives a current which is more than uh, the set threshold then only it is going to uh, give you this uh, tripping uh, or LVB protection tip. Then uh, the operation mode. So again, there are multiple operation modes. The important, which is if you select this as non-existent, then in case of non-existent, your LVB protection through this particular day unit will be in the off or in the block condition. Tip from external CBA protection, I will discuss in a separate session. Bus zone unbalance, not required. Uh, the only two important is your uh, trip repetition with current query and the current query. Now, what is the difference between this trip repetition with current query and current query? Uh, so, in case of current query, whenever your uh, current is above the set threshold, this uh, LVB protection is going to issue the final LVB trip after the lapse of the timer. Uh, if you select this trip repetition with current query, then first of all, it will give a trip repetition after the lapse of trip repetition time and then it will going to issue a, a final trip based upon the current query that is whether the current is above the set threshold or not uh, then uh, the trip report repeat mode uh, there are two options available there is single pole and three pole so if you select single pole or if you select three pole you have to configure the day units according to that so suppose i am going to select here trip repeat uh, mode as single pole then uh, you have to assign the trip repeat signal as uh, cbf trip repeat l1 CBF trip repeat L2 and CBF trip repeat L3. And if you select this as 3 pole, then you can assign the CBF trip repeat as L123. Then the next thing is current threshold for breaker failure. So this is uh, as per the settings which are available to your substation. For suppose, in my case, I suppose I set it as 0.1. I by IN, IN is your normalized current. And what is the normalized current which you have set under the substation configuration? For in our present case, this is. 2000 ampere so i am setting this current threshold for the breaker failure as 200 ampere primary uh, then the time delay for breaker failure so i can set this as suppose 200 millisecond that is 0.2 this is again 0.2 uh, time delay for low current mode not required time delay for breaker after cv fault i will discuss during the end fault stage and the important is time delay for trip repeat. So suppose I am setting this as 100 millisecond. Now this is a, supervi a supervision of binary input breaker failure release. Uh, so this is applicable when we select here as 
initiation and release with supervision or without supervision so if you select this initiation and release with supervision in that case your release signal will be supervised for the this uh, time setting which you set over here so that's all for the important breaker failure related settings in the bay units uh, I hope the important concepts or the important settings which are discussed in this particular session is clear and in the next session we will discuss about the uh, uh, end fault protection and then we will discuss how to uh, set the end fault protections in your central unit in the bay unit and what are the uh, different configuration changes when we select the end fault protection what uh, things you have to consider uh, during the enabling of end fault protection stage. So, if you uh, think uh, or if you like uh, the today's session and if you think that this session is beneficial to you and it can be beneficial, uh, it may be beneficial to your friends also, in that case, you can uh, share this uh, video with your friends so that more and more people get aware about these concepts and more and more people can apply these concepts at their substation, at their projects. And uh, we will meet again with uh, the discussion on uh, several other topics related to decent life as part production. Till then, thank you and goodbye.